welcome back, folks. We have something new here. You can kind of hear um, Mario jumping in the uh, invisible layer one existence. But anyways, this is Luigi and the Final Year, a demo available on the website at this very moment. And um, speaking of demos, go ahead and check out the website because the creative convention zone is going on and there's lots of content there for you. But this is a, a separate thing entirely. Let's uh, get this going, shall we? The Wondrous Archipelago. I get it, because it sounds like Wondrous. A tropical exotic land outside the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, I have to press up. Right, I'm spin jumping in the background. Anyways. In this place, there are strange buildings known as End Ruins. Places where evil sleeps. A legend says that four destructive beings slumber in each end ruin. If provoked, the final year of the world is declared. Time, 1823 p.m. It's a little redundant, you don't need the p.m. there. Location, War's Ruins on Wondrous. I can't do a Wendy voice, so just uh, pardon me if I use my standard reading narration. Dad will be so proud of me when he sees all the treasure we'll bring from these ruins. Miss Wendy, there's some wicked energy ahead, and it's huge. Shall we still proceed? Sage advice from the Magic Koopa. Sure, go ahead. I have a bad feeling about this. Whoa, what happened? Where did the sunlight go? Oh look, there's a little horsey there. He's coming. V! What endures thee to disturb mine own slumber? This is forbidden territory for living ones like thee. We're here for your treasures. The mortals are just as greedy as ever. They've triggered the final year of this world. The present day, the world shall start to perish. Mario, did you do something on your way here? Why is the sky bloody red? Hark, mortals, you did disturb me and mine own comrades, so I shall declare this world's days are numbered. Nothing can seize it. Luigi! I'm not doing that. Something's happened in Wondrous, and I need you to see what it is and stop the final year from happening. That's it. We are thrust into our new adventure. Luigi atop his wrath. Wrath! <laughs> no, this is a raft. Wrath comes later. Now is not the time for wrath. Keep going, Luigi. Act now, think later. Let's go. Tropical swamp. I can't move despite the paths appearing illuminated. Luigi with an accented L is visible on the bottom right. Without further ado, let's get this party started. I am uh, liking the custom uh, graphicos here. Apparently, Luigi is measured in HP. So I guess we don't have a small form. Also, those are not real vines. So we're gonna have to endure the game constantly at our full size. That's okay by me. Hello. Here's tips from Karen13505. Did you know you can wall jump and resist damage? Well, I'm not sure what the resisting damage is, but I am appreciative of the wall jumping aspect. See how this feels. Get out of here, Koopa. Okay, well... Come on. Popped him. Okay, so it's like New Super Mario Brothers wall jumping. What's this pole? Luigi! Look! It's the princess! Well, the princess is not the one in peril here, my friend. More tips from Karen. Besides dragon coins, Wondrous also has flying red coins in each level. Oh, hello. Sinister caves. Koopa. What are you doing there? Bye. And a Goomba. Be gone. Oh! I just had to, uh, just had to test out how Goombas behave in this here hack. And the result is Goombas are Goombas. Not much else to it. Oh, water tiles are still the same as they ever were. Not existent beyond the surface layer. Aiming in the incorrect direction. Some things never change. I just wanted to see what was inside, okay? Cut me some slack, bub. I got four dragon coins and that's it. Oh, it's a Sonic-style goal. Okay. 
Too bad the sign doesn't flip arena. Peace out, Luigi. So yeah, I played through that level on my first test through just to see if the game is functioning. Everything's looking good! Now we're entering uncharted territory. Pristine pond. I still can't go beyond the uh, path that is open to us. No events necessary, I suppose. Ah, Kirby music. Smart choice. Dude, Luigi. I like that swimming sprite. Ah, there we go. Charge ourselves back up. And we got some layer 3 tide action. Very nice. Let's uh, try to escape this fish here. These terrifying Kaisine clushes. And now we have to wait for the tide once again. Or we can wall jump, Arena. There's a little bit of Super Meat Boy up in this Meef. Hey, fish. Aw. Oh. Drat. He's active once again. Ooh! What the? It can just spawn like that? That does not bode well for my uh, collection progress, but hey, we got it, regardless. I wonder where one is in the first level. Very narrow pipe. Luigi's a skinny guy. Just gonna wait for this Goomba to descend. Flying red coins come out of small golden poles. Okay, that's what the pole means. That's what spawns the red coin. Gotcha. I gotcha. Okay, dokie. Pop that. Wait, where did I end up here? Same place. Okay. Good to know. Still not a real vine. Also good to know. Hello, can I rip up this grass? Nope, this is not Super Mario Bros. X. Okay. Is there an invisible block? Nope. Just some strangely suggestive coins. It's fine. Let's go. I want to peep this dragon coin. Can you get stuck in there if you uh, are not large? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know what those little meteorite looking blocks do, mind you. Oops, accidental wall jump. It's a concept that we're gonna have to get used to in this little hack. Hop in and trounce it along, aren't you, little paracarry? Be gone. Ooh. Charles is here, and he's in full HD. Alright. Good secret exit. I guess, uh... <laughs> me jumping nicely unlocked the camera very well there. Hey, let's go. Let's go for the Switch Palace. More Kirby music. You know how to... How to... Jimble my Jonathans, in, a, in the best sense of the term. Lightning flowers replace fire flowers here. They can be controlled with up and down. Chuck is gone. I like the foreground trees. Very atmospheric. I have yet to find a... Uh, oh, there's the flower. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you can shoot freaking Danmaku bullets in whichever direction you please. Personally, I'm okay with shooting them directly forwards. But maybe there'll be some usage to going elsewhere. Actually, no, I can't even... Okay, it's a very slight upwards curve. Almost negligible. Okay, so this is where our friend, the coin, came from that I didn't even notice, but he will respawn, as far as I can tell. Yeah. So thank you. I don't know if that is intentional behavior. Maybe. May very now well not be. It doesn't look like these golden red coins are intended to be particularly difficult to grab. Dude, Goomba. You, uh, you alright there? I'm sorry that pipe grew into you. It's an indescribable experience. Yep, okay, the branches do not extend through the trees. Guess we found that out the hard way. And of course, there are still lives, despite the lack of HP, or the revamped HP system. Ooh, good annihilation tactics. Very nice, so we're up to 9 HP. Not a very nice number. I don't really care about the dragon coins. Sorry, lad. Alright. After all, this is just a demo. I doubt our save data would be able to carry over. Should we port... Would we to play the real game? Yes. I wish 
I could blast Charles, can I? Okay, you have to kind of... Mm, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, we did kill him, so that's good. Doesn't look like redundant power-ups can be exchanged for HP. Is that a Waluigi color palette I saw for a brief second? Just uh, tickled the meme nerve. Very nice. I'm sorry, Waluigi, I don't mean to diminish you into mere meme status, but it is kind of the fate you have accrued over time. My sincerest apologies. Oh, you can actually tell that this ground here is a sort of updated forest tile set from the original game. I like it. Okay, Goomba, you have proven yourself very valuable as a weapon, but I don't want you waking up inside my warm clutches. Wondrous has switch palaces too. A certain area will be activated if pressed. Oh, a certain area, huh? Not just switch palace blocks. Interesting. Very interesting. One of these days I'll figure out how shells go when they're thrown downwards. Anyways, let's cross that finish line. Luigi dutifully struts onwards. And uh, hello, flower. Goodbye. There it is. Alpha switch. Ooh. Powerful. I like it. Switch palaces don't allow wall jumping or carrying items. Use the R pipe to reset. Oh boy, it's a puzzle, huh? Okay. Yeah, that's probably not the intended solution. Let's try that again, shall we? Already read this, thank you very much. Looking for a silver switch somewhere. Somewhere or wait, I need the standard P switch first. There are probably going to be multiple layers to this. Okay, here's our standard P switch. Oh, I can't grab them, that's right. That is absolutely right. I should not have killed him. And now I have to make the race. Oh, okay, he's supposed to enable a vine. I can't start select a level that I have not cleared. So I suppose it's time to uh, swiftly end myself. There was probably a reset pipe available to me, in hindsight. Hindsight 2020 and what not. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. Pop it. See, this is a bit of an issue. I have to actually make him pop the things. That's right, so I can't escape. I was correct about needing to commit suicide. That's good news at the very least. In some sense of the term, it's half good news, it's half-baked news of some sort. This would be a very sad game over and apparently save spots are not treated lightly. Not a big fan of that kind of decision, but what can you do? Let me please release this. Here it comes. Now we have our escape. Thank you very much. And I suppose it's time to silver P switch it up. Alright, easy. And pop this. And we have created a pyramid of blocks, very nice. Spawn unto us, ancient civilization and knowledge, thank you very much. So there are switch blocks as well as progress being made in a certain area. I like the hand-drawn alpha in the background, I never did point that out. Adds some sort of character. Finally, we get a proper save spot. I suppose that'll be a relatively decent ending point. And from there we can continue towards our castle. A nice introduction to a pretty nice hack. Stay tuned for the next time. And don't forget to check out the uh, creative convention at the website. See you later.